Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss anomalous behavior of chromium and copper. This point comes from D and F block elements. So what is anomalous behavior of chromium and copper? Why chromium and copper behaves differently than other first transition series elements? These are the two questions which comes out when we look towards the electronic configuration of chromium and copper so we will go in the history how electronic configuration of chromium and copper can be written which belongs to first transition series first transition series which is also known as 3d series its general electronic configuration can be written as 18r1 3d1 to 10 4s2 where ar r1 atomic number 18 if you look towards all the elements which belongs to first transition series or that of 3D series starting from scandium 21 ending at zinc 30 their expected electronic configuration and observed electronic configuration can be written as like this. To discuss how the electronic configuration is written we are going to take an example of scandium. So, scandium, its symbol SC, having atomic number 21, electronic configuration can be written as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d1, according to Apubu's principle or by following Apubu's principle, or it can be written as 18 argon 3d 1 4s2 expected electronic configuration in case of this scandium and that of observed electronic configuration is the same if you look towards all the elements and their expected electronic configuration that 3d has a one sequence that is starting from 1 ending at 10 similarly 4s it remains 4s2 if you look towards chromium, it behaves differently. That is, its expected electronic configuration and observed electronic configuration is different. 18 argon 3D4 4S2 is expected by following the general electronic configuration for the 3D series. Instead of that, observed electronic configuration is 18 argon 3d5 4s1 similarly copper will also behave exceptionally that is its expected electronic configuration and observed electronic configuration is different 18 argon 3d10 4s1 one electron from 4s shifts to 3d similarly in case of the chromium one electron from 4s ships to 3d so this is called as anomalous behavior of chromium and copper we are going to discuss that in our next slide chromium cr 24 18 argon 3d5 4s1 copper cu 29 18 argon 3d 10 4s1 to understand why this occurs it is important to realize that completely filled sublevels are more stable than partially filled sublevels. A sublevel which is exactly half filled is more stable than partially filled sublevel which is not half full. And electrons are lazy and will do whatever places them in the lowest energy state which is the most stable state. So to explore all these points or what is that exactly half filled and that of completely filled we have to go through how that electronic configuration of the chromium and copper is written. So when a valential orbital is completely filled or exactly filled that element is more stable. In case of the chromium we are going to discuss it first. So chromium its expected electronic configuration. 18 argon 3d4 4s2 how that electrons are filled 
in case of the forest and 3D. Forest 1, 2, 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4. One suborbital from 3D remains empty. In case of the observed electronic configuration, 18 argon 3D5 forest 1, that electrons are filled as forest 1, 3D1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One electron from this forest shifts to 3D. So 3D now it is exactly half filled. So it has a maximum stability. So that's why there is a difference in the expected and observed electronic configuration of chromium. It is nothing but the anomalous behavior or exceptional behavior of that chromium. This can be explained in one more way that more exchange energy more is the stability. So what is that? If you look towards that 3D exchange energy that one electron from 3D it can go here or this electron can come here. Then similarly this can go here or go to this another place. So probability is 1, 2 and 3. So that will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 6 and in case of the observed electronic configuration if we apply the same concept that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so it will become 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 10 so more exchange energy more is the stability this is about the chromium why that 3d is exactly half filled and the chromium is going to behave differently than other 3d or that of first transition series elements similarly we can discuss about copper so if you are going to take copper and its expected electronic configuration 18 ergon 3d9 forest 2 it can be written as forest 3d electron can be filled as forest 1 2 then 3d 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 7 8 9 one electron from 3d it remains unpaired in case of the expected electronic configuration of the copper then observed electronic configuration 18 argon 3d 10 for s1 similarly if you are going to fill the electrons then 4s 1 3d 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here in this case also one electron from 4s will shift to 3d and now 3d in case if you see observed electronic configuration it will be completely filled so it is more stable then what is the reason behind this or why they become stable when that valence shell orbital is completely filled or exactly half filled again this more exchange energy more stability it is there reasons behind that when they are exactly half filled or completely filled relatively small shielding smaller columbic repulsion energy and larger exchange energy so then they becomes more stable or that's why they are more stable and in this way chromium and copper both behaves exceptionally or their electronic configuration is different than the other first transition series elements thank you